In stage 50, most number fields are formatted to display two decimals, like you see here in the quantity or the unit price fields, but that can easily be changed. If we close that and go up to the options menu and choose global, you can see that there are three different places where we, where we can set number of decimals. We've got one setting for quantity fields, one for unit price fields, and one for standards fields, which is basically everything that's not quantity or unit price. And this link right here, what fields are standard fields, will give you more detail on what fields those are and where they appear. But for any of them, you've got a choice of going from zero to five decimals. So let's say that we only sell things in whole units, so we want our quantity fields to display zero decimals. And we also sell very small parts that deal in uh, prices that are fractions of a cent. So we want to increase the number of decimals over here. We could go up to five. Let's choose three for this example. We'll click OK to save that. Now let's go back and look at our invoice window to see how that's changed. So here you can see that our quantity is only showing whole numbers, no decimals, and our unit price is out to three decimals now. now a couple things you want to keep in mind is that when you make that change in the global options, it will change all sales, purchasing, and inventory related screens. It does not affect payroll though. The other thing that you need to be aware of is that it doesn't affect your printed forms. It's only changing what shows on screen. So if we preview this, you'll see that we still have two decimal places on our quantity and on our unit price fields. So let's close that and we'll talk about how to change your printed forms. If you go to the reports and forms menu, forms, and I'm going to use the invoice as an example, but it's the same with any type of form. We'll choose the one you want to use as your starting point and click customize. Now here you can see this is the, the line item or detail section of your invoice. You can double click on that or you can right click and choose properties. And now we have a list of, of all the columns on our invoice. Here's the number format button. I click on that and this gives us a representation of how our numbers are going to be displayed. So the small ends represent everything after the decimal. Since our quantities we're going to be whole numbers we'll take both of the small ends off and remember to take the decimal point off too or you'll end up with a number with a decimal and nothing after it you can also make other changes in here like um, you could take the comma out or you could add a dollar sign at the beginning or make your negatives print in parentheses instead of with a minus sign at the beginning if you click the help again you'll get very good information on what options you have available there so I'm going to click OK and then let's come down to our unit price. We'll click the format button there. And then we'll go down to the end and we'll add another N right there. We'll click OK. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you're adding decimals, you may need to make this field wider. So um, maybe we want to add a little bit to that. So you need to make sure that you take the corresponding amount away from another field otherwise you're going to end up uh, with your form being too wide so we can make that 0.86 since we took decimals off of there now we click OK and you'll see that I'm still the same overall width right there now you save it give it a new name then we can close that window and let's go back to our invoice one more time. And let's preview that. We'll choose our new format. And now you can see that we've got it printing the same way that we have it displaying on screen. So this may seem like an extra step, but it does give you the flexibility to have different forms print in different ways.